Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction give the relationship between magnetism and electricity that is they give the interaction of magnetic field with a metallic coil to produce electricity that means the faraday's laws give us how to produce electricity with the help of magnetism faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction has changed the entire world because every equipment function by use of electricity so today talk about faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction induction furnace alternator here i have shown alternator working of alternator in which the rotating coil cuts the magnetic flux and emf is produced in the rotating coil this is based upon faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction atm cards they are also work on the basis of faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction transformer the best example which is working on the basis of faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction thus working of induction furnace ac generator atm cards transformers and so many other devices their working is based upon faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction a bar magnet has two ends north pole and south pole north pole can be denoted by red color and south pole can be denoted by blue color this is the general color coding of a bar magnet consider the motion of magnetic needle in presence of magnetic field suppose a magnetic needle is allowed to move in magnetic field then how the north pole behaves we observe that the magnetic needle the north pole has moved along the path shown this path is called magnetic line of force it is also called field line now let us define magnetic line of force the path along which a free north pole moves in presence of magnetic field is called as magnetic line of force line of force always move from north pole outside the magnet and moves from south pole to north pole inside the magnet in this way large number of lines of force originate from north pole of the magnet and they travel outside the magnet from north pole to south pole and again from south pole to north pole they travel from inside the magnet the group of lines of force is called as magnetic flux thus magnetic lines of force start from north pole travel up to the south pole again from south pole they travel to north pole the line of force travel so fast that we realize the lines of force almost remain stable in the magnetic field they spread the magnetic field they remain constant that implies a bar magnet can develop only stable magnetic field a bar magnet cannot develop fluctuating magnetic field and if we move the magnet from one position to another position then magnetic lines of force also move 
along with the magnet they are neither decreasing nor increasing that implies the magnetic flux associated with the bar magnet always remains constant it does not change but if the bar magnet is moving around the coil the flux linked with the coil changes no doubt the flux developed by the magnet will remain the same but flux linked with the coil changes this is the central idea of faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction according to faraday if the bar magnet moving around the coil then flux is cut by the coil and as soon as the flux linkages with the coil changes then emf is produced in the coil and current start circulating if you connect a galvanometer in the circuit the deflection is observed in the galvanometer this is what observed by the faraday and this is the faraday law of electromagnetic induction emf produced in the coil depends upon speed of the magnet if magnet is moving slowly then less emf is produced in the coil and if the magnet is moving faster then more emf is produced implies the emf produced in the coil depends upon the speed of the magnet when a bar magnet is moved towards the coil coil also behaves as if a magnetic pole and coil acts as either a north pole or a south pole depending upon the direction of motion of the magnet if north pole points and moves towards the coil the coil acts as if a north pole and emf is developed in the coil due to the motion of the magnet emf is developed in the coil called induced emf because of induced emf current is set up in the coil which flows in the anti clockwise direction as shown in the animation and it can be easily seen with the deflection in the galvanometer and if the north pole moves away from the coil then then emf is induced in the coil and the coil acts as if a south pole and due to induced emf the current is set up in the coil and current flows in the coil in the clockwise direction the flow of current can be easily observed with the help of deflection in the galvanometer and if the magnet is performing to and fro motion then while the north pole is brought near the coil magnetic flux linked with the coil increases and when the north pole is taken away from the coil magnetic flux linked with the coil decreases in both cases emf is induced in the coil and current flows according to the direction of the magnet magnetic flux is denoted by letter phi magnetic flux linked with the coil depends upon the following factors 1 area of the coil 
are surface, intensity of magnetic flux, angle between the coil and the bar magnet or angle between the coil and the given magnetic field. Above all discussion can be applied in alternators. An alternator is a device in which electricity is produced. In general language it is called as generator. But the correct technical word is alternator. Here is a north pole and south pole and a coil is kept between the north pole and south pole and the coil is rotating. When the coil is rotating it cuts the magnetic lines of force and as it cuts the magnetic lines of force EMF is developed in the coil. As soon as the EMF is developed current start flowing in the coil. EMF produced in the coil depends upon the speed of rotation of the coil. As the induced EMF increases, amount of induced current also increases. Thus, Faraday's laws tells us interaction of magnetic field with electric circuits or interaction of magnetic field with coils to produce electromotive force. Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction divided into two parts. The first part of the law talks about change in the magnetic flux and EMF production. Second part of the law talks about speed of the change in the magnetic flux that is rate of change of magnetic flux. Thus the first law talks about EMF developed due to the flux linkages and second part the rate of change of magnetic flux. Now let us define Faraday's first law and Faraday's second law. Faraday's first law. If magnetic flux associated with a coil changes then EMF is always induced in the coil. Faraday's second law. The magnitude of induced EMF in a coil is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux. Let initial flux linked with the coil equals to phi 1. Let final flux linked with the coil equals to phi 2. Change in flux linkages with the coil d phi equals to phi 2 minus phi 1. Time taken for change of flux phi 2 minus phi 1 equals to time dt. According to Faraday's second law, induced EMF directly proportional to rate of change of flux linked with the coil therefore E proportional to d phi by dt. SI unit of induced EMF is Weber per second or volt. I repeat Weber per second or volt. Thank you.